Wow, what a phenomenal week we've had in the Mohawk Valley this week. We had the eclipse, and we had uh, the wonderful hockey match that people came from around the world to our area to see it, and it came off very, very well. It just shows you the importance of living in upstate New York and why our show, Sold in Upstate New York, is so relevant. On this week's program, we're going to feature a lot more sold listings, which I'm really excited about. We're going to talk about the importance of photos and videos, our beautiful, amazing, wonderful home of the week, and how important outdoor space is, especially since COVID, how important that space is to the everyday living of, of the family. The curb appeal is important, no doubt. But people, when you're showing your house, the backyard, they're going to be in the backyard too. I got dogs, you got dogs. You know what I'm talking about. Clean up the poop. Well, thanks for going there, Robin. Tell me. All that and more when we return to Sold in Upstate New York. Continue on Genesee Street for three quarters of a mile. Oh my goodness, the show is going to be, it's just going to, oh my goodness, this is going to be wild. In that, I mean, we're going to hear all kinds of things from people, you know, positive, not so positive. Our competition's not going to be real thrilled. Oh yeah, check the teeth, honey. You know, what's the rule, honey? Check if you let me go anywhere with crap in my teeth, you will pay. Huh? It's so much fun to watch you in shock and awe, though. Well, just remember, you're trapped in the car with me 10 hours a day. I don't always have to be funny. <laughs> That's good, because you're not. Honey, you know that I am the funniest person that you've ever met. Yeah. So where are we going? We're going to uh, to show Rebecca and Philip a house in New Hartford. Coming up, it's time to see some amazing houses. We'll start with some incredible homes that have already sold, and then we'll feature some beautiful properties that are on the market right now when Sold in Upstate New York continues. So Robin, what are we going to discuss today? Well, we are going to showcase some listings, but we're going to focus on some sold listings this week. Fabulous, because the marketplace is still extraordinary and it's, things are selling immediately. So it's a wonderful time to sell and market your home. Let's start with houses that have sold. Our first listing of the week is 608 Maple Grove Ave in Herkimer. It was listed for $169.9 and it sold for $169.9. It was a cutie patootie two-story built in 1910, three bedroom, one bath. Had a newer heating system, energy efficient windows, and a new roof in 2023. Come experience this lovely valley town of Herkimer. This was a great listing and it sold relatively quickly. 368 Ann and Mill Street. This is famously known as the Vincent Building in Little Falls. It is a three-story manufacturing building. It was literally a blank pallet. It was listed for 300 and it sold for 300 with multiple showings and multiple offers. Built in 1930, the buyer came from Nevada. He is, he is, from what I understand, a Herkimer boy, and he's here to buy properties and to do wonderful things. So I don't know what his plans are for this, but the Vincent building on Ann Street sold for full price, and I am excited to see what he does with this building. Oh, 6505 Lowell Road in Westmoreland. Beautiful little ranch, it was so cute. Three bedrooms, one bath. It was listed for $179.9 multiple offers. I believe there was six offers on this and there was over 20 showings. It sold for $198,790. 1,000 square feet, three bedroom, one bath. It had a very large garage. It had an updated kitchen. It was so cute. Welcome to 721 Settlers Pass in Utica. 
This is known as a patio home. It was listed for $329.9 and it sold for $329.9. 1323 square feet, built in 2012. Three bedroom, two bath, one level living at its best. It is certainly a downsizer's dream property with that single floor layout, upscale details, and five minutes away from shopping and restaurants. Built by Buck Construction, premier builders in central New York, it is actually in the first community, first multi-generational concept of its kind in the area. Welcome to 7 Hollywood Drive in Whitesboro. It was listed for 164.9 and it sold for 155. It was a two bedroom, one full bath, two half baths. This was a fixer upper, so that kind of explains the price. We did have a lot of showings on this, um, but the thing with fixer uppers is that not everybody wants to do the work, but it certainly presented a blank palette for decor and updated cosmetic changes of your choice. 139 Old State Road in Newport. Oh, this was a beauty. This was listed for $249.9 and it sold for $262. It had multiple showings and multiple offers. 1.1 1 .1 acres, 2,100 square feet in the West Canada School District. Three bedrooms, two baths. It is an old farmhouse from 1800, but on that acre, they packed a pond, a viewing veranda, an in-ground pool, a pole barn, and the house had new kitchen and baths. And you can understand why it would sell so quickly. Anything with a finished inventory gets a premium dollar. 262 in Newport. Actively listed, 6453 West Carter Road in Westmoreland. Built in 2020, 2,500 square feet. Listed, actively listed now for $549.9 on 2.13 acres. This is a breathtaking property, offering one level living. Everything is updated here. Open floor plan. It is a beauty. Kitchen has custom hickory cabinetry, stainless steel appliances with the old commercial grade oven. The chef's haven is as functional as it is beautiful. An adjacent 16 by 32 family room beckons relaxation and panoramic views. That was 6453 West Carter Road in West Berlin. It is a beauty. Actively listed, 94 North Main Street in the village of Middleville, West Canada Valley Schools. Listed for $215,000, 1,525 square feet, built in 1900. It is a four bedroom, one full, one half bath, two story home with separate garage. It offers a variety of familiar living situations. This home is a lovely property, offering a large kitchen and large bedrooms. Plenty of storage space is something you have to see to appreciate. Great houses, right? If there's anything that you see that appeals to you, don't hesitate. Let us know and we can get you in so you can view those properties. Right now, the market is really exceptional, and we've really never seen this before in the Mohawk Valley. Homes are selling for over the asking price, so if you're even thinking about this in the smallest manner, if you'd give us a call, we'd love to list your home and get maximum dollars for it. What we're also finding out there is that people are didn't plan on selling their homes and deciding that hey there's a lot of value there um and they're you know they're, they're putting their homes on the market we can certainly offer what's called a uh, comparative market analysis a cma and we can give you a, a, a pretty good estimation of what your house will sell for so here is a wonderful tip that we have just learned we all have bird feeders in the backyard, and we know that they are absolutely attacked by squirrels. And no matter what we do, we put the little cones on the thing. But here's a trick that we just found out, that if you set up a wire that's thin and strong enough, obviously, to hold it, that the squirrels cannot carry themselves across to that, and they drop to the ground. This is a wonderful idea, and it's going to save a lot of heartache and a lot of stuff on the ground. So well, very well done. And by the way, when they fall to the ground, they just might. Yeah. 
find themselves in Death Valley. Nice work, Bill. Ta da! <laughs> you realize that was her flower bed. Coming up, a spectacular featured home. You might just want to move in immediately when sold in upstate New York continues. Do you have questions about real estate or about your home? Call River Hills Properties today at 315-896-1009. Always by Mohawk Valley. That's our business of the week. Cat Media. Wonderful people. Dave and Dana. Dave and Dana. We use them almost exclusively for our uh, real estate photography. Yes. They cover, but they don't just do real estate photography. They do uh, senior pictures, events. Um, weddings, you wedding, name it. Anything. No, she doesn't do weddings. Okay. She doesn't do weddings. So Cat Media, highly recommend. We use them for our real estate photography, our drone, our 3D floor plan, um, everything to do with real estate to capture at the essence of a home, to market it online. We use Cat Media and we highly recommend Dave and Dana only. They're superb. They do other things like senior pictures, events. Here, I'll do the talking. Senior pictures, events, uh, anything you could think of, Dana and Dave, they're awesome. And they're very nice people, too. Just See? not weddings. Just not weddings. <laughs> <laughs>
Coming up, wait until you see this breathtaking restoration. Before and after pictures are on the way. All right, so you remember what it looked like when you went through this garage door. What was it? It was stairs right down to the basement, It was stairs right, right down the basement. Right, it was dark, and it was filled with junk. Well, then let's get your reaction when you walk in here. Okay. Holy cow. Isn't wow. this a beauty? Wow! Totally different house almost. So, oh my goodness, yeah, the stairs are gone over here, the wall's gone. Quartz countertops from Mohawk Valley Granite and beautiful Samsung stainless steel appliances and they took the stairs and moved them over to this side of the home to give them that nice wide open feel. And with the two forms of egress in the basement, we actually allowed for additional square footage in the basement space with an additional primary suite, a completely remodeled basement and the entire home restored and modernized. Well, it was a really fun project to work on and to think of where it was before. Yeah. And uh, that's why we like to call it a restoration, right? Because it was a home that was loved and cared for, but needed to be brought back to life. And yeah. That's really what we did. So the floor plan was reimagined. Um, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. So so you have some old photos. Oh, I got them all. Like made, before. Made, made of fact, that's when we <laughs> came in. That's the vision that Bill and I came in. I mean, we saw this when it was floor to ceiling of stuff and there was walls and there was small rooms and it was just you could not see uh, beyond the stuff that was here. So yes, we're gonna show the before and afters and it is night and day. And this is what, this is what a great vision and hard work produces. I wish I could take a little bit of credit for it. That's just a fraction of credit. But most of the credit goes to the, to the A team that brought this to life. And they are indeed the A team. Oh yeah, most, most certainly. <laughs> Ultimately, we want to raise the bar in the way that real estate is performed in upstate New York. So we've eliminated one important feature of real estate, and that is the lockbox. So where does this unwieldy thing go? It goes on the front door of every house, and it removes the, uh, the, every personal aspect of selling your most important investment. A lockbox on your home allows an agent who has never been in your home before, typically, to come in with clients that have never been in your home before. And you have three literal strangers, perhaps, walking through the home, not knowing anything about the property other than what's on an MLS sheet. Let me ask you a question. Where are the property lines? Is it city water? What? Where's what, the septic? What kind of heat does it have? How old is the roof? How old is the furnace? How long have they lived here? I don't know. I don't know It doesn't either. say in the MLS sheet. It doesn't say it. We're there to say it. Are you ready to go do the squirrels? I'm telling you what. I'm telling you what. 
What's the, uh, the, 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 the two couples he used to live in the 1950s in the tenement building? Oh, you're talking and he'd about... he'd be like Ralph Crampton? Yeah, well, that's who it is. Yeah. Honeymooners. Honeymooners. I'm going to hit you right to the moon or whatever. Yeah, the Alice. Alice, yeah. yeah. You're okay. Alice today. Okay.